Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show how do we combine multiple fields in a select single and show as one value in a, as a option. Let's look at it and see how this can be done. So considering, considering we have uh, this expense, expense type of business object where we have expense name and then amount. So what I want, I wanted to show the expense name as well as the amount in a drop down as a single value. Let's see how this can be done. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, not create a page. I'm going to create, yeah, a new page. Let's say, select single multiple value and create. So what we will do here, first of all, I'm going to create a type here. Let's say expense, expense name, and then, sorry, expense type. And there I will add expense name and one ID. All right, let's, this is a number type, create. Let's go to the variable and let's say expense ATP. And I will choose this as my array data provider, create. And let's say this is my expense type and key attribute must be IT. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to generate an event here. We will enter. Next, let's say load data, finish. So here, first of all, I am going to call our expense REST API. Hmm. Expenses select. Now, what I want, I would like to write a JavaScript function. Convert. Convert data, which will take all the data. And here I am going to write a for each on my data. All right. And there we are also going to create a array type where we will do push the data. Let's say final dot push. And that is so here my this is my expense name expense name and there what i'm going to do i need to have this expense name and an amount as a single value in my drop down expense name right so go there and there use a tilde symbol tilde right and then dollar this Let's say element dot expense name. Similarly, for element dot amount, right? So expense name will be a combination of my expense name plus amount. And if you wanted to keep amount in a bracket, you can surround this in a bracket also. All right. And then we need ID, which will be element dot ID. All right. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a final array which will hold the expense name and then ID. What is that expense name? I am creating this expense name with this matching expense name, right? And then ID also. And then we'll return this final here. Return final. Now, 
I will call this function here. Let's say call function. Put here. Let's remove this from here. Function name is my convert data and data would be my this guy items. Save. And then assign this to my expense adp dot data call function result and then save. Now go back to the page designer. Let's choose a select single and let's say data. Data is my expense adp and then item text is expense name. That's it. Now you go to the live mode. You see US travel and thousand dollars. So this is how you can combine multiple fields in a as a the single field in a drop down. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Bye bye.